Hello, I'm Michael Dawson from Northern Brewer, and I'm brewing an all-grain batch with our deluxe all-grain system today. This is the five-gallon version with two five-gallon coolers. We also have a 10-gallon version with 10-gallon coolers. The five-gallon version is big enough for most five-gallon all-grain batches. If you brew mostly session beers, anything up to about Doppelbox strength, you can use this system for years, your entire all-grain career, and be totally happy. If you brew 10-gallon batches or if you start getting into really big beers like barley wines in the 5-gallon size, consider the 10-gallon system. The deluxe all-grain system includes two major components, the mash lauder ton and the hot liquor tank. This is a good moment to mention some brewer's terminology. Liquor in brewing doesn't refer to whiskey or tequila. It refers to water that has been treated for brewing. So the hot liquor tank is where we hold hot liquor, hot brewing water for the sparge. The mash lauder ton is where we mash and lauder, where grain is mixed with hot water to create wort and then laudered or separated from the solids. And to accomplish that, the mash lauder ton has a perforated domed stainless steel screen called a false bottom that will keep the grain inside while letting the wort drain out into your boil kettle. Some of the advantages of this system are insulation. Coolers will hold a temperature very well. When you're all grain brewing, the temperature of the mash is pretty critical. It affects the outcome of the finished beer quite a bit. Being able to hold a steady, consistent mash temperature for hours on end is a real plus. All the coolers, 5 and 10 gallon, also include graduations inside, which makes measuring out your brewing water very easy. Finally, draining and transferring liquid from vessel to vessel is ergonomic and hands-free. It's just opening a valve and letting gravity do the hard work. When you get your deluxe all-grain system, there's a little bit of assembly required, but if I can do it, anybody can do it. The coolers come with a factory spigot installed, before we can actually brew with it, we need to replace it with a ball valve, like I've already done on this one. It's very easy. You just need three things. Crescent wrench, pliers, and a roll of Teflon tape, which is available from Northern Brewer or a hardware store, which may be where you had to go to get these things anyway. Let's get into it. There's a nut on the spigot inside the cooler that needs to be removed to take the spigot out. I've already loosened this one up a bit with the crescent wrench so I can finish getting it by hand. There's three pieces. There's the nut, a gasket, and the spigot itself. The valve assemblies have two components. The bulkhead, which goes inside the cooler, and the valve proper, which goes on the outside of the cooler, like you can see on this one here. The bulkhead itself has a few parts, but the two we need to be concerned with are the big hex nut and the big silicone o-ring. These go on the outside of the cooler. The rest of the bulkhead goes on the inside. The bulkhead goes inside the cooler with the coupling facing in and the threaded nipple facing out. Back on the outside, the big O-ring gets snugged up against the cooler wall, followed by the hex nut with the flat side facing out. Hand tighten, then use the crescent wrench on the outside the pliers on the inside to hold the coupling. Tighten it down. Next, we use a few inches of Teflon tape to wrap the threads and help make a watertight seal when we put the ball valve on.
Finally, a little more Teflon tape to wrap the threads of the barbed fitting. to the ball valve. Now that we're ready for brew day, we need one more piece of sophisticated equipment to make a gravity-fed, tiered brewing system. Hot liquor tank will be the highest point, mash lauder ton in the middle, and your boil kettle of choice, which is not included with the all grain system, will be on the floor to receive the wort from the mash lauder ton. To transfer the liquid from vessel to vessel, the deluxe all grain system comes with a couple sets of hoses. It's got a clear high temperature hose to drain the mash lauder ton into the boil kettle. The clear hose allows you to evaluate the color and clarity of the wort coming out of the mash lauder ton. Second hose is an opaque high temperature hose to drain sparge water from the hot liquor tank into the mash lauder ton. This piece has a diverter tip, a little siphon sprayer on the end to diffuse the hot water coming out and deliver a gentle trickle instead of a full bore stream that could channel a hole straight down into the grain bed and have some adverse effects on the finished beer. To actually start moving liquid, all you have to do is open one valve, open another valve, and wort will be flowing into the boil kettle, leaving both hands free for beer, or more important things like taking notes. This is the deluxe all-grain system from Northern Brewer. Happy brewing! And cheers.